Hi, Libra Anarchy responding to Scouse Caspa, a question of morals. I'll try to be as quick as I can. Um, she put forth the question of which model, medical or social, um, should people use to approach people with disabilities, the medical model being to fix, to operate, to um, help the person become more normal and more functional within society. And the social model says that this is a prejudicial attitude and that um, instead of operating, for example, without somebody's consent, uh, medicating, fixing, that um, disabled people should be helped to live with the disability rather than um, have treatment somehow forced upon them. I, perhaps I'm not articulating this too well. Um, I've experienced um, surgery to actually help a disability as a child when I could not consent as well as uh, surgery to help I guess looking funny without my consent and I have to say um, I do prefer the medical model because um, I would rather be I, as well as I could have been. Now, I would say the exception is with things that um, involve cosmetics or um, getting getting out of um, I, disabilities per se, uh, circumcision for males, that there's no real benefit to that that can't be fixed by washing in the shower <laughs> um, so in but in it's hard to talk about this without using terms like necessary and unnecessary but then these terms get pretty relative um, some people would say well it's necessary for a child to fit in as much as they can to prevent them from being made fun of you know, so it's necessary for the psychological well-being, and these people aren't cold, hard dicks or something. They're just people concerned with children who have a different approach. So, but my approach is along the lines of, if it's cosmetic, so what? Let the kid grow, and then at some point, um, say the kid's 12, 13, 14, the child may say, well, this cosmetic thing is causing me problems because people are making fun of me and I and I don't think that I can get a date or something um, then yeah operate but then when things involve cosmetics rather than actual ability to um, function mechanically seeing hearing walking um, movement of arms and legs um, um, then it's, oh, shit, I forgot what I was going to fucking say, and I don't want to fucking make another video. Ah, god damn. But my point is, it, I, I tend to favor the model that if somebody, is, you know, children, especially as young as I was, I was a baby when I was first operated on, can't consent one way or another. They can't say, well, I think this idea that I should just conform to the norm is inherently prejudicial, so I think that I'd rather be blind and be treated as a full person with a blindness and help to function as blind. No, I, you know, I mean, I, there was a time limit, too. I mean, the, the earlier, the better, and, you know, they were saving what sight that I had, so yeah, make decisions for the child in that sense, when the child can't make a decision for themselves and it's not purely cosmetic and it will affect the child's functioning in society. Uh, you know, other than, oh boy, that people are going to be petty. Now, as far as cosmetics, then you have a situation where, you know, um, spending money and time for what could be, you know, what what is a often considered a deformity is inherently prejudicial if the deformity does not 
otherwise impair a person other than people saying na 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 na. Because in all frankness, um, people are going to say that about anything. If your clothes aren't exactly trendy, somebody's going to make fun of you. And everybody, unfortunately, kind of has to learn that people are insecure and you kind of have to say fuck you to people. <laughs> so, and yeah, so decisions like that should be left to the child when they're old enough to make the decisions. Now, um, in the case of like a severe deformity, well again, that that actually is likely to affect mobility and beyond just people pointing and laughing, it's an obvious difference. Um, you know, chances are it, you know, I mean, if somebody has like a big tumor, even if it's not cancerous, I mean, maybe it, it's going to cause trouble, say, sleeping because they don't like sleeping on their stomach, but they have to because of a huge tumor or something. <laughs> Cause I, I saw a case where um, there was a girl who had a benign tumor, but it was a huge tumor on her stomach. and she, But she had to sleep on her stomach or else she would die. So, technically that's cosmetic. All she needs to do is sleep on her stomach. But, and maybe find a way to prevent herself from rolling over or something. But, chances are, it's much more helpful to that person to just remove the tumor. And I'm glad that the tumor was removed, and, yeah. And, well, I, okay, now I'm just kind of running over my time, but, okay. Well, now I'm just adding filler. Do, 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 la, 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 fuck, 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 la, 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 filler, filler, filler.